Hey, hey there, there friendlies. friendlies. How's up? Cody and I are out in the sort of woods right now. We're gonna do, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, three knife safety rules for you. They're not specific to teaching kids to play with knives, but kid. <laughs> All dangerous right. kid. <laughs> uh, 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 we're not going to be dangerous now. Okay? Okay. Fine, fine. Uncareful kid. We're going to change that. All right. Go with us. We're going to do this. Oh, my gosh. Look at the shavings I made. Hey, Cody, can you come here for a minute? Sure. Oh, wait. Safety, uh... Rule number one. Rule number one. Don't walk with the knife outside of the sheath, okay? You don't want to be walking around with a sharp knife out. All right? And if you do, please be careful. There you go. All right, rule number two. This is a variant of what we showed you in the last video. Camille, can you please pass me the knife? Sure. Please note, she passed it to me in the sheath. Always pass it in the sheath. But <laughs> if you don't, like you're both working next to can you pass me that? Yeah. Um, so this is the second best, okay? If you're gonna pass the knife without the sheath, hold the sheath, please. Then what you do is you take it's hard to do this in front of the, in front of the camera. You, you know take what? it upside here, here. You take it upside down, so this is the blade. Like this, and you take it like this, and then you pass it over like this. Here. That's exactly Here. it, actually. Um, we're gonna use my knife just to and he demonstrate. Didn't even tell me. <laughs> okay, so just to make it more visible for the camera, but actually, what Camille just said is exactly right. Okay, you hold the knife. And don't put your fingers on top of the blade. Exactly, you hold the knife in such a way that you're not gonna get caught when someone takes it out of your hand, okay? And you hand it over like like so. Um, I was always taught originally that you do it like, like so, um, but I recently learned that it's just better to just like have your hand open a little bit so there's no chance of you grabbing it around there. Hand it over. So Camille, you can take the knife for me, please. Okay. Okay, rule number three is sort of a, a collection of, I guess, best practices. Um, so, Camille, show, show the knife up. Hold the knife up. Now, it's after dark and we're getting tired. Do you use a knife? No. Exactly. It is absolutely a best practice to not go using your bladed objects. It's getting dark. You're like, uh, I just want to, you know, do some kindling for tomorrow morning. No. No, it's not safe. You, you gotta be sort of at your best when you're using axes, knives, saws. You know, you can obviously use uh, your food prep knife around supper time, but I mean, it's best to have light and... So cut up your things a little bit early. Any, anything you can do to, to use your bladed objects before it gets dark and before you're kind of exhausted after a full day of bushcrafting or setting up your, your, your camp. Um, and always have a first aid kit when you're out there bushcrafting anyway. Uh, but the thing I want to say about that is this is just an... Sorry, well, guys. Windy. you should at least try to have at least one bad day everywhere you go. That's kind of where I'm... Sorry about the wind, guys. Um, wind this is enough. This is just um, an off-the-shelf kit, okay? I'm just... It's for demonstration purposes. What I would have for a session of when we're out uh, maybe cutting wood or just doing some basic bushcrafting, maybe making tent pegs, whatever. The, the kit you want to have, your tools-oriented kit, is not going to have a bunch of things like aspirin and stuff like that. You need one that's got a lot of sort of trauma-oriented items, bandages, um, um, antiseptic swabs, stuff like that. Anything that's geared towards Oh, rats, I cut myself. Oh, so you just want maybe like to suck up the blood? Any, stuff like, yeah, like um, anything for, for mopping up blood. Uh, maybe a suturing kit if you're trained. I'm not, so I go heavily for band-aids and bandages. 
Um, but yeah, those are just some real basic uh, safety stuff. When you're setting up your first aid kit, buy everything in duplicate. One to train yourself or to practice, one to use when you're at the bush. Ah, the wind. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Wind, wind. Beautiful, beautiful. Wind. Okay, that's all she wrote. Thanks for hanging out with us for this little knife safety video. Um, if you like what we're doing, do the following three things. One, comment down below. We want to know two things this week. The first is... Would you like for us to make more of these nice safety videos? Second thing, um, you guys can think of some light bushcraft challenges that you might want to see us do uh, on video. Like simple stuff, one stick fire things. Not Nothing like dangerous. build a... Yeah, nothing dangerous and nothing that's... Too extreme. Build a, a shelter or something. We don't have access to land for that. But uh, yeah, let us know if there's anything you want to see. Uh, aside from that, please share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And the last thing is, leave us... A smiley thumb if you like it. If you don't like what we're doing, then leave us... A smiley thumb. A frowny thumb. Frowny. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>